Alright everybody, welcome back. This is Koros from Koros Gaming. Today we're playing a game called Swordsman Online. We're going to jump in today. It's an amazing MMORPG. We're going to jump in and play it. We're going to make our character real quick. And we're going to make this boy all buff. All big and everything else. I used to play this game all the time. I fell in love with this game. I thought it was amazing. Um, a lot of people who ever played this with me would know me as Cal Chan Ning on one of the servers I used to play on back in the past. So we're going to jump in it today, check it out. It's been about a year or two since I've been on this. About a year, I would say, since I've been on this game. So, yeah, we're going to jump in and play it. We done did the basic settings. We made our guy all big. We're going to choose the hairstyle. We'll go with my favorite. Got to find it. I can't remember which one it is. Ah, oh, there it is. We go with my favorite hairstyle. Of course, we'll keep it black because I like, you know, the black hair. We can do the event settings here, but I I don't want to because that's a lot of time. Um, so we're just going to make our character, make the eyes. We want the big round. No, I want the which ones? The ones that look like he's he's angry. Oh, the first ones, okay. We take them eyebrows. No, no, no. Yes, make them black. Hmm. I like, I like the last eyebrows. They look more dark. Then you can make the nose and mouth if you want. We'll just click um, this one for the nose. This one for the mouth. Um, and, of course, there's other details you can do. You can give them facial hair. Um... Can make him look like Guan Yu. Give him the full beard. No, nope. I give my guy no beard. We're gonna call him Koroth Gaming. We're gonna go ahead and jump on in. And this is Swordsman Online. It's an amazing martial artist game. Um, made from a beautiful story. Um, I'll have some more descriptions down below for you guys, but we're going to jump in and play it. Um, and when we get in, I will also turn down the music because I know it's probably hard to hear me. Um, sorry about that. There is no settings before you enter the game. You have to enter the game and then do the settings. So, oh, 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 <laughs> We are young heroes in Hoji, floating in the river of time. When we drink and laugh with friends, power and ambitions are nothing to be raised. You can read this whole thing if you want. I don't want to sit here and try to read it all because some of the way it comes up and stuff, I'm not used to that. I'm used to seeing it left to right, not right to left. So forgive me for that, folks. Pretty much, it's just telling you that you're going to be chosen out of 10 of the schools of martial arts. You have to choose which school you want to join. And that's going to choose your class in this game. That's how you choose your classes. Um, the classes in this game are amazing and different. And it depends on your outlook in the game. If you want to do PvE, certain classes are better. Help, help! Something happened to the village. So now we gotta go say the village. The village chief wants you to come back at once. This is where you're gonna choose your stuff. We receive the daily war, which is always these. Good to see they're still around. And of course we get our art gift. The item Arxy gift enjoy. So I got an art gift. Receive it. And Swordsman Online, welcome from May 11th to the May 25th. Of all new players will receive Orchard Skis. Okay, cool. And of course, I want the uh, classic swordsman. I oh, know I want the traditional 3D. I want the one where you push W A S and D to move, and you rotate the camera. There we go. 
And then of course you click on her. She read it and say help help. Now we gotta go rush to the city to save the city. But before that, before we do that, I'm gonna do the options and turn down the music. Turn down the ambiance and turn down the sound. Turn down the music just a hair more. Turn down the voices. It's about right there. Apply. Okay, maybe we just need to go down a little bit more. Okay, right, confirm. And we're gonna continue. And now we're running. Um nope, that's the do the guild. I think it was B to bring it back. Yep. We're going to equip our uh, item here that we got for free. You'll get gift packs you can open. Do not open them when you first start. A lot of people will open them at the beginning. Bad mistake. Wait till you get in town to where you get and put stuff in your stash. We're going to run. Left click the fight. Sit there and be like, pop, pop, pop. And as always, in most games like this, you can do the whole um, kicking them, or you can do the whole WASD, the movement, you can do the mouse movements, and you can do the, the button pushing to do all your attacks, or you can use the mouse. So, yeah. Awesome little game. We're going to go ahead and start kicking butt here. If my guy would start hitting. You got to destroy these people. So we're going to go up here to the villager. Because this is where I always go. And we'll start killing these guys around here. Kill that one. Kill that one. And... You kill this one. Do we got another item? Yep, yeah, we got another item. Go ahead and take it. Oh, can't take it in an unsafe zone. Alright, so now we got this quest done. We're going to talk to this Tugu and Tugan. Lone Sword Village is under attack. Take this iron sword. It is our village's secret treasure and what the bandits are after. You must keep the iron sword safe. It cannot fall into the wrong hands. They're coming. Hide behind the house and retreat when they're distracted. Alright, so now we run over here and hide, like our teacher told us to. Oh. Damn it, protect the chief, protect the village chief. Hmm. So you are the chief of Lone Sword Village. We're looking for a certain sword, and if you wish to live, you will tell us where it is. I'm not telling you where the sword is. Even if I did, I'd never tell you bastards. Is that so? I have no use for you. Then die. Don't you dare harm the village chief. The entire village will be dead by morning. The village chief is dead. Everybody is dead. Search every corner for that sword. And now you gotta run for your life. And don't stop running. You stop running, you're dead. You don't have time to stop the fight. You actually have to run past all them at this moment. Run! Jump! Jump! Oh shit! Run, 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 and now we made it, don't let that one get away, we just got our asses kicked, stand back, this one's mine, oh, this man doesn't think so, who are you, my name, I'm the senior Silblender disciple, Lung Sasun, Loon to zoom. Loon. I always like these kind of games because it reminds me of like Dynasty Warriors. And I'm a big fan of Dynasty Warriors. I love the whole 
China history fighting gameplay. It was awesome. You know, it's always one of my favorite things to play. Now we hold down Z to heal until that goes green. And wow, done. And now we turn in the quest. And now we click this to go auto path. And it will take us here. So you do have auto pathing in the game if you want to do that. You will also later on unlock the ability to also auto fight to grind while you're away. So like you get you go to real life work. Now you click this. We'll let it go back to the guy. I'm not doing the tutorial. Okay, dude, I don't care about that yet. You get a tutor. You definitely want to get a, tu tu a tutor in this game because you get a uh, gift box from the tutor that gives you a shit ton of items. So you'll want to ask for a tutor while you're in the game. And if you join and you want to hit me up when I hit level 50 to be your tutor, I'll gladly be your tutor. So we'll go ahead and. Uh, change the combat if we can here because I think I'm used to the classic is a classic I'm used to yeah it's classic I'm used to yeah cuz that that way I was playing it felt awkward okay now we auto path no hands auto pathing um, so our guy will head over to the main guy um, this game it is a martial arts type of game. Um, if you've seen movies like um, Crouching Tiger, um, what else? Shaolin Monk. What other kind of movies are there? there there's all kind of martial arts movies that I, I, I love, but I, none of them are coming to my damn brain right now. He'll teach you some certain abilities. Alright, so now we go on to talk to Judo Fuji. He taught us how to double jump, so now we can do double jumps. Um, you want to get equipment. Also, you got to equip. Um, this is just getting you into the game to see everything. Um, I'll probably choose a class, and that's probably where we end the first video. Um, I don't want to make this first video way too long. Because, number one, I don't know how long it's going to take to upload. Because I'm just starting um, to do the video for you guys. But this game is actually amazing. And there is a lot of people that play. Probably right now, not a lot of people are on. Because some people are eating. Um, some people are at work. Some people are doing other things. Some people are probably sleeping. But there is a lot of people that play this. Alright. So now they want us to push B. They want us to equip an armor. We equipped it, but we're putting on the L armor. You can shut up. I ain't right clicking that armor. My armor's better. Alright. And now we go to the Wu. You see these items over here on the wall? That's where you'll get the ability to be able to tag your items. This is the stash I was telling you about, guys. Where you store all your items to keep it all protected. Um, what you would do is right clicking and it brings your slots um, there is currency in this game different types there is the game currency and then there's the coin currency that you do with you trade with the other people and then there's the real life currency to where you can use money to get certain things um, like mounts and gems and other things um, a lot of people would say it's pay to win but I never paid and I was up there kicking ass with the best people that even paid real life money. So, yeah, technically, they get an advantage, but it's technically not all pay to win. There is some, you know, you can't do it without pay to win. But we got some extra bags here. We're going to put them on. Going to open up this one too. Um, see how it gives us stardust? Those kind of things can go into the vault. The stardust. Um, Phoenix Pills can't. The experience boost always put in there. I don't need them right now. Um, we'll put in 
the pills. We don't need them. And then these you can open at level 10. That one. And this you open at level 30. So we don't need that for right now. We can put that in there. Um, so yeah. Now we're going to go on. That person's got a red name. So don't want to mess with him. He'll kick our ass. We're going to go ahead and go over here. Submit this. Finish that quest. Complete. Um, we're going to sell this. We're going to sell it because we want the money. We're going to sell this because we don't need it. We're going to sell the pants and we're going to sell this shirt. The shoes we'll need because they're better than the ones we got. So we'll push B, equip them, then click this and sell those shoes. And now we head to the Guan San Sanchi Sanchi Sanchui and get ready to go to the where we choose our class. Um, we will have to choose our class. And I'll get over there and show you guys the class and describe them to you. Um, not many people in this town right now. I'm used to seeing a lot more people than this in this town. So we'll go ahead and click complete. Now they're going to tell us to go to the horse. I usually put them right here. And put this here. And we'll use one. Alright, so now we gotta go by the horse here. And the character drag us over <laughs> to where we're supposed to go to get our class. Um, when we get over here, we're gonna run into, you know, the dick we fought. So, yeah. Alright, so we made it. Here we go. Phew! What? Eh? Er, there you are, now die! And there's the guy who saved us. I know you're from the repairable eminent school. You wouldn't necessarily murder someone here in this, would you? Hmm. This isn't over yet. That's not over, because I'm going to kick your freaking ass. Alright, so now we've talked to... You can sit here and read them all. Um, the story is actually amazing. I usually read this on my own, because if I sit here and read the whole thing, we'd be here forever. But the story is amazing, and right now I just want to show you guys the gameplay, and then we will read the story, and I'll describe more to you. Alright, so now we're choosing the schools. In the, in the game, these are your classes. Um, you got Shaolin, which is a male-only class. That, you know, you, you look like Sun Wukong. If you've ever seen Sun Wukong, that's kind of what you are. You have the staff like Sun Wukong. I love that class. It's fun. Um, then you got Sun and Moon. You actually have saw blades. Like freaking knives on... You can throw them out like chains on the ground. Blades freaking cutting people up from a distance is awesome. Good class. Five Venom is an only female race class. Um, and it's pretty much you, you're whipping everybody with a whip. You're, you're like you're, you're Don, pretty much. You're like beating the shit out of people with a whip. And then Wu-Tang is the uh, pretty much the tank class in the game. I mean, you can pretty much make any of the classes in the game tank, but Wu-Tang Wu has specifically some Good abilities for a tank. Then you got Splendor, which is all around damage. And Sephir is a magic class with a little bit of healing. Um, Harmony is a full out ball blazing DPS class. You would literally kick some freaking ass with that class. They have some of the coolest AoE attacks. Um, Harmony is actually a really fun class. Um, then you got my favorite class that I, I was with Cal Chanin, House Tongue, where well, you get arm cannons on your hands, where you shoot guns on your wrists and shit. You throw out razor blades, and, and you shoot a big old Gatling gun and cannonballs and 
spin in the air and shoot like missiles down or shoot the bullets down in a circle. I mean, that class is amazing. I love that class. And then Infinity and ML are like the healers. Um, Sephir Hill is a little bit, so does Infinity. Imal is the best healer in the game. Um, Infinity is kind of like a magic class. Same thing with Sephir. Um, there are kind of magic classes in the game. Imal is a magic class that heals, and by itself, it's OP as fuck. If you do the damage path, the class is amazing. If you do the healing path, the class is amazing. So you cannot go wrong playing Imal. Or Imal, however you want to say it. Can't go wrong with that class. So, with that said, we get to choose our class here out of the schools. Um, Tong, I'm used to playing, so I probably won't be at this round. Um, if anything, if y'all want to see Tong, I'll get on Couch and Ning. I ain't been on him for a long time and show you what Tong's like. Um, Sun of Moons, the Blades, can't do 5 in them because I'm not a chick. Last time I looked, I have a nutsack, so can't do that. Then Cypher is good, or Cypher, Wu-Tang, Shaolin, Imal. Imal, if I be Imal, it's pretty much an OP class. Um, Harmony is a tough class at first, but when you get all the classes of it, all the way up to like level 40, um, then you're like a killing machine. Splendor is the normal. A lot of people would like that class because of damage. Infinity is good too. Um, and they heal while doing damage. So, for this video, I will be. It's either Shaolin and Yamal because OP Healer to show you guys the coolness of that, or to show you guys, you know, Sun Wukong type abilities. Um, the other classes I do love, but I think I think for this video, since I do love Sun Wukong, the whole story of it is awesome, and the movies was amazing, and the story behind it was amazing, I'm going to choose Sun Wukong. We will definitely be Shaolin. We will join. Now we join Shaolin. We'll talk to him. He'll give us attack ability. And he will give us a staff. And now we have all the abilities of the schools that we, we took. And. Okay, I don't know what the hell that was, but okay. And now we will equip our item. We equipped our staff, we got all of our items on. And now, when we head out, we'll be able to beat the shit out of this dude. So, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe down below. We will definitely continue this some more. Because I want to show you guys this great game. And we will use this guy next time to progress further into the story. So you guys can see some crazy stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. This is Koroth. I'll catch you guys next time. You all go have fun. I'll see you later. Bye, everybody.